Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by BlackRifleCoffee.com. Hi, Hi. Welcome. What are you so excited for? I'm more excited than you. You're not, and I'll tell I you am. why. No, I'm not. No, you're not, no, and I'll tell I you am. why. I'm we pretty have, sure I am. We have a special guest. Tell the audience Spell who it is. Spell his last name. Tell the audience who it is. It's Mr. Jamie Kaler. It is. He's my friend. That's right. I have his phone number. In my phone, he's my friend. He doesn't like you, Cool. and he thinks you're gay. Nah, I'm hearing, I'm hearing all that. I'm hearing all that. But what you don't understand is I've had a crush on him since... 1994. You just peaked at Wikipedia. He I just. Looked, I think. He, I felt like he looked at my IMDb I did, yeah, page. I did. Yeah. He's over there. He's gonna pull out some. He of was your He's like fucking I, acting gig no, you had on the Disney all, Channel. He was. He was Stanton on Saved by the Bell, the college years. That's right. And I think that needs to be recognized yep. and cherished amongst the masses. Who was the the. Uh, the advisor, the athlete that was on the college years. What was that guy's name? Oh, uh, uh, he was uh, yeah, uh, Bob uh, Golick. Who, Golick. It was a guess Golick. Who yeah. has, yeah. Guess who had <laughs> a, Notre Dame guy. a Stanton poster in their bedroom growing who? up? Me. Was it really? If yeah. that poster I can, existed, I can see well, that's that. just sad. Yeah. Let me let me stop Why? you. Right there. Let me stop you because if that poster existed, you made it yourself. Yeah, was, yeah because oh, okay. I had an obsession with sea line fucking story characters on. Popular shows. <laughs> Who said it was a C story? Yeah, this guy. That, to me, that was no. my story. I know it's an ABC story, but look, he's our special guest. I that, have one that was line. that was my that was my A story. That one line was my A story. What was it? I go. Uh, it was Sarah Lancaster. She was legitimately fourteen years old, and she was. <laughs> they were supposed to be crashing a college party. I was in real life thirty years old, and yes. I was playing uh, a nineteen-year-old college guy, and I was trying to get her drunk, and I was like, "Hey, you want a beer?" And she's like, I'm, I'm doing a scene with a 14-year-old girl when Oof. I'm 30. The whole thing was very uncomfortable. Uh, she, everyone was very nice. But then uh, she's like, no, I don't think I do. And I go, come on, let's a drink or something stupid. Well, it was just so lame. Well, that's so Woody lame. Allen in real life. So what yeah. are you going to do? Like, hey. No, no, no. He, he even takes it one step further. He, he, he adopts them. No, yeah. well, that's that's what I was gonna say. They adopt. What you need it's to like do a breeder find, program. You need to find he adopted. Out who, they adopted her. Oh, Me yeah. and Pharaoh adopted. You got to find out who her mom is. Her real mom. Marry or? the woman's mom and then adopt her and then you hook up with her later. That's yeah. how it works. So, Wait, yeah. what? Can yes. you do that? Yes. So, is that so legal? here's why. I'm that not saying it's Farrow's legal. I'm just saying child. that is exactly what happens. So, Dan, Dan is obsessed credit. with marrying Jared's mom. I want to yeah. be a stepdad. I'll treat you so good. Oh, <laughs> fuck <laughs> off with that. No, I'll take no, you wherever you, you want to go. I don't want to go anywhere. I'll I, take you wherever you want. I'll make a really good stepdad. I would. Well, you're not fucking banging my mom. I mean, I met you. I met you like recently, and it's it feels like I'm not sure what kind of dad you would make. I would not make a good father. No, you would be no, a terrible you wouldn't at all. No. father. You wouldn't at all. Even He's to Jared, the type and he that needs would tie his kids to a tree. I would never do that. Wait, wait, I'm a very you're, kind back up. That's, you're not supposed to tie them to a tree? Apparently not if you live in the state of Arizona. You, no, you just have to give them <laughs> enough slack. You can't tie them directly to the exactly. tree. As long as, I think the legal limit is like 15 feet of slack. I feel like you're the only guy here who's on a show about parenting, so maybe you should take the ball on that one. Yeah, so what, do you, what do you think no, the, the no, legal amount of slack No, and I'll tell you why. Bob Saget. Bob Saget was on a show about parenting. He was a fucking dirtbag. He is. A, who's, well, who's he's not a dirtbag, but he's got a filthy ass. Yes. yes. Who's to say that Jamie's not a fucking dirtbag? No, I'm a total dirtbag. Back. Yeah, yeah. So not what? around my kids. No, no yeah, yeah. No, 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 Every no. morning no, he posts no. something nice with I his kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't see that kind of stuff no, no. out of me. You don't. You no, don't. you haven't seen your kids in months, probably, right? <laughs> Maybe years. Maybe years. You ever who choked knows? anybody, Jamie? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you who, ever, who, who you hasn't choked what? somebody? Who uh, hasn't uh, choked somebody? Yeah. That's the, these are the hard hitting questions that drinking bros want to know. Of like, all right, great. Who well, were you the before you were What's the craziest were a dad? thing you guys have done before you That's when you were having sex? Pre dad, right? pre dad years is pre dad yeah, years. Pre dad years. Honestly, I never thought I would survive to dad years because we, I, I drank, you know, with a passion. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, so there's hope for me. Unbridled passion. Yeah, I actually made a pretty big... I mean, don't get me wrong. I still love a delicious cocktail. I just don't maybe do it to the extent that I did before I had children. Yeah, ah, yeah but you, you, you've, you've had kids for 14 years now. A long yeah. time, Jay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. What was the craziest yeah. thing you did, pre-dad pre, pre -dad or after-dad? What I was it? I never got crazy. Come on. I didn't. I, I mean, you you guys already know everything. Yeah. He's not that weird. I'm I mean, not. I guess shoving that bar of soap up your ass was pretty weird. That's right. I'm not. I'm not that. I'm not weird. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm pretty. You know, that was for a joke. A bar of soap of his ass. That was That's for a, a true joke. Story, by I mean, the way. who hasn't shoved the bar? How else would you clean the inside of your asshole? Exactly. I'm confused. Uh, if he, if you said he shoved a gerbil or go to the, a football, uh, I go. Well, that's kind of crazy. But a bar of soap? Yeah. I, I, yeah. You at least you at least peek into the cave. I was to clean trying. I was trying to play a cute duck. You know, I just wanted a tail. Was it a full bar like a new fresh one? No, 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 no. It was chiseled you know down. They, they get Let me ask you this: Why don't instead of making a bar of soap, why don't they just make a dildo shaped soap p- piece of soap so you could Derek clean White your butt out properly? Have exactly. you, been to, you've been to Derek White's house, yeah. right? Yeah. On, in, the, in his master bathroom, there's a fucking dildo soap right there. There is. It should yeah. be a That's bin what Laden. Stars must. Yeah. It should yeah, be a bin Laden. Be Laden it's going into the cave. It's going in and out of the yeah. cave, and you can just bin yeah. Laden. Well, here's what I do: I go to what's called an asshole dentist. Ah, every six months, and they clean all the inside of my asshole. Professional does. Do you with, bleach it? With oh yeah, with yeah. Uh, one of those motorized like. I, look, <laughs> I'm not a professional. Okay. Yeah, but what's going how, on? You can hear it. It's, it, it's you can water. feel it. Well, let me ask you this. <laughs> You have numerous orifices. You brush your teeth. You put a Q-tip in your ear. Why yeah. wouldn't you clean your a-hole? I know. I, this is I mean, people same. who don't are just filthy animals, and well, I think most are. of your listeners I know for a fact are very same, clean in that But I had area. a guy yeah. in college who refused to, when he got out of the shower, uh, wipe his ass crack with a towel because he was like, I'm going to reuse this towel, and I'm worried about getting pink eye and whatever. And I was well, like, did you wash your asshole properly? Exactly. Guy? That's what I said. No, I was no, like, no, your no. asshole's already clean. That's why I have clean. a detachable shower head so I could turn the jet on and just let that stream That's why. for about uh, what? What? That's why. That's, that's what? what it is. It's not, it's not so you can blast your own asshole out with high water pressure. It's so you can clean it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, sometimes, don't no you? No one I mean, believes you. Say they don't have the shower. Have you ever just laid down and then kind of nestled your butt up so you got your asshole right that's under the thing? That's the problem. I pay the for thing, convenience. So it, sh- oh, it yeah, comes yeah, blasting yeah, yeah. into it? I pay for convenience. Dan if pays something for is convenience. inconvenient, I'm not going to do it. No. So I, I'll spend the extra money for a nice shower head that I can blast my own asshole out with for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. But, and that's just that's just being cost efficient. It's, it's being an adult is what it is. Exactly. You know what I love about this show? You guys are attacking the hard hitting issues that oh, people yeah. need to discuss. We need to have Jimmy. a lot of people don't. Well, they're too afraid to talk and. Jump I don't know into why. I don't know why that. Because cleanly. you know what? It's, it's just France, an orifice. Everybody's got a bidet. Yeah. 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 Why yeah. don't we have bidet? The water know. pressure's not high enough on the. I, I no, feel no. like the You definitely fake. want some some higher water. Yeah. yeah. I feel we've like, all used that. But still, it's a way more efficient method than what we do. Oh yeah. Just wiping it around with paper. Yeah. Like and if now you got, let me ask you this, because some I can't remember who it is, but some comedian made this joke recently, and I thought it was really not even funny. It was just spot on. If you got shit on like your forehead, would you just take a piece of paper and wipe it off and go on about your business, or would you wash your fucking face? I, I'd probably wash my face. Yeah. yeah. You'd probably, probably yeah. if you got shit on your face, I'd wash you my would face. Wash it. Yeah. You'd probably. But so so the other night we were at Matt's house. And you had shit on your face? No. Oh. He, he's got a new dog shit all over the floor. He stepped in the shit. I, I think four or five of us stepped in the shit. I mean, it was fucking everywhere. Wait, this One dog. of those people didn't shower that night. That's all I'm going to say. I can't abide. And, and I couldn't with not shower. I was like, we all stepped in the shit. One of the people did not you mean, shower yeah, that who night. Was that? Like barefoot? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and it was it was him. It was well, actually not Jared. Oh, After wow. the first guy stepped in the shit, why didn't somebody clean it up? Because uh, they didn't notice. Uh, they it, hadn't noticed they stepped in shit with their barefoot? Seven acres worth of land. We were riding dirt bikes. We, th- we A lot thought it was, of alcohol. We involved. thought it was dirt. Okay. We thought it was, in all fairness. That's drunk. Like, I if mean, you're we so were, drunk that you we don't know also, you stepped in shit. We also, we thought like, it was dirt. earlier that day, were building motorcycle jumps in the mud. Correct. Mm-hmm. So okay. everybody thought it was mud, and then all of a sudden, okay. we were in a room, and, and one person shit. screams out, oh, my God. There's shit all over the floor, sure. and then one of those people didn't shower. I'm not going to say who it was. But yes, I do. Normal people should, but that's not everybody's Dude, fucking I'll shower. life. I'll shower five, six times a day. Yeah, Me too. Well, yeah. I, I love showering. Yeah. Me too. But I, So the CBD company we've been talking to, and you guys stay tuned for all that bullshit, but yeah. they CBD, a, like the, the, the part of pot that makes you feel no pain yeah, it, exactly. it without promotes, the high. It promotes homeostasis. homeostasis. Sure. We'll, we'll, get, we'll, we'll get into all the science behind that later when we actually bring them on as a sponsor, but they sent us a bunch of bath bombs. I don't know anyone that's taken a bath that has a 60 dick. 60 years. Since they were a child. Correct. I love baths. No way. Let us talk about this. How do you, who does, Look that's at like saying facial structure. That's, that's why. My that's wife beautiful. doesn't even like baths. Do you not like hot tubs? Do you like a hot tub? I love a hot tub. It's a magic. It's magical. 
Hot tub is the greatest invention on earth. It is. There but was something I, before a, that. It was just a, a bath. And then they said, well, this bath's fantastic. What if we made it bigger, had some friends in, put some air, and served drinks? That's a fucking hot tub. Why wouldn't you take a bath? Yeah, but I make people, like, when I have, I've had a hot tub before, and I, people shower before they go in there. Like, you wash yourself off before you get in my fucking hot tub. Yeah. Because he doesn't want their dirty shit in there. I Here, don't. And here's the thing. I, I, I don't shower this. before I go into somebody's You will shower at my I'll house. fake it. Well, I'll pretend. Yeah. At least I'll yeah. splash a little I don't, water. I don't like the oh, You know what I'll do? You know, it's no. so creepy. It's you go to so a pool. It's like, shower before you get in the you. pool. Fuck off. You got enough chlorine in this thing to kill anything. Yeah. I, I might rinse my hair so about... you think I shower, but I didn't shower. I won't first. I won't take a bath, and I'll tell you why. I feel like whatever the dirt and shit was on my body throughout the day, now I'm just swimming in it and living in this goddamn cesspool. Well, you're also so large, you don't fit in any normal bath. It's crazy, isn't it? You like Jared, thank you for oh, saying you that. Don't he doesn't mean he was just... He was telling me earlier about. that you have really plumped out. Not, not even That's close. what he said. He goes, what brick happened to Ross? You're, you're a monster. He looks... Yeah. It's he, crazy, right? You he, look like a... You know that... Like, you're either a wrestler from 1950 or the guy who it's takes the cannonball shot in small motion. No, no, I think it's more like it's my what dream. What he was saying Ooh. earlier oh, is he was saying dream. to you take really a cannonball shot. No, I've always wanted to play Ric Flair in oh, a biopic. Oh, you're easily Ric Flair. You, your, hair is, your hair is there. God damn it. What he yeah. was actually saying it. earlier is you look like a can of Pillsbury biscuits. If it's somebody top. cracked it and on the fucking We've already We've got photographic evidence. We've already done this show, brother. I'm huge. There's nothing we can do about it. But what we can do is get me in. And is, is Ric Flair in that new Hulk Hogan biopic sure. on Netflix? I yeah, want let me, call that. My, let me call some people. I don't know anybody. No, but you have a great voice. You could be the announcer. I do have a fantastic voice. Do you do true. any voiceover work? Yeah, he does I a bunch do. of video you games do. and cartoons. I am the bloopers host on Robot Chicken. No oh, shit. I love that. God damn We're it. We got the robot chicken here. That's, that's, a, right. that's a mic drop. That's a mic drop. That's a mic drop. That's, that's a, a mic drop. Mic. You were also in the military, by the way. I was. I was in the Navy. Tell you, oh. What's it like banging dudes? So sort of in the military, then. What's it like banging dudes? Yeah. Same as banging chicks. Oh, all right. Yeah. Feels pretty good. <laughs> hey. Smell any, better You worse? sold me. I'm, any I'm doing in a storm. <laughs> I like uh, Johnny B from the Jerky Boys used to say, uh, a hole's a hole as long as there's a little heat in there. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. And that, to me, is a 2019 mentality. Sure. Listen, man, you can... Would you care however anybody gets their rocks? No, no, no. no. You really but don't. But it's still, I'm I not going to let I feel bad for stop people. being funny to me. Oh, it's hilariously funny. But <laughs> I feel bad for people who don't feel comfortable enough in their own skin to go out and go, hey, I like fucking sheep. Let me see if I can find a nice sheep that I want to, you know, like if you're doing whatever Some, you want to do. A sheep you can settle down with. Yeah, you, well, that's why Not, you, get the, you wear the long I mean, boots. You yeah, put yeah, their, if their, you, their if you got a really good, smart sheep, like you were splicing some dolphin yeah. jeans with a sheep, and you trained it to lay down everywhere sure. you went, and you'd name it Pillow. And it's like your portable yeah. pillow. That's actually uh, not the worst idea I've ever heard. It's from, not, but I like how you casually slipped in dolphin in there. There's uh, there, again I not think a he was reason talking for about a the dolphin. Intelligence I was, dolphin. I was, I was saying let's yeah. get some dolphin intelligence into a sheep. Yeah. Gotcha. Because a sheep natural programming is just walk around, bath, and eat grass. Sure. So, all right. Let's sure. get some fucking sonar. But they are delicious. Sheep are delicious. Exactly. Oh, they absolutely. Have are. you we tried just dolphin? Bought one the other day. Oh my god, dolphin's fantastic. Yeah. See, we don't. Wait, have wait. Are you being real? You've had dolphin. We don't have a whole. Where were guess. you? They serve in restaurants in Florida. Dolphin. No. Bahamas. I told you. Really? Yeah. That's the highest consumption of dolphin meat. Is it Bahamas. is dolphin. Yeah. You're kidding. Do you, um, know, you don't feel guilty ordering that? Uh, no, but I will tell you, it's, there's, there's a fish called a dolphin. Yeah, mahi mahi. Yeah, ma- it's a dolphin. No, right? we're talking about they, a so, bottle nose. You're talking dolphin. about a. He's mammal talking about dolphin. a real. No, I've never like had a flipper. A, I've never eaten. There we go. Uh, I've never eaten. Would flipper. you be interested go. in going to? There's a couple of islands in the Bahamas, in the Caribbean, that serve dolphin meat. Would you we need to try. Dude, there's we're, we're, a place you can listen. You can get anything. If you anywhere. have enough money, you can get anything yes, you want. Well, yes. that's the thing. And somewhere so, right now, somebody's being cloned in South America. Absolutely. So we know it's happening. In China, they're making CRISPR babies right yeah. now for exactly what they want them to be. That's right. And they're going to come over and fucking beat our asses. Like Hannah, right? Yes. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. And you know what I haven't seen in a while? A creepy crawlers advertisement. Oh, God. I'm not even getting into that. Let's get into Jamie, what you do. Uh, let's get, first, into, let's first, get into me. First of all, in, in all seriousness, you're one of Jared's favorite comedians. Uh, when we came out to L.A., he was like, dude, we got to get Jamie on the show. I, I fucking love him. Everybody knows you from My Boys on TBS. It's true. Um, but you've had a long, long career. How did you get into stand-up and acting out of the military? Because we have about 80% of our listeners are military first responders. Well, Try, explain that to the audience well, because it's really, really fucking difficult to do. It's pretty amazing when I met Jared that 
I mean, when you guys came along, all these guys are doing it now. But when I got out, I got out in 87. I got out in 92. I was in 87 and 92. And nobody, there were no military guys. There was no help. There was no internet to try to figure out how to get into acting. And I was in San Diego and I just got out. And my one friend was like, hey, I'm in this improv group and there's some hot chicks you should come and you're funny and I was like I'm in and so I'd never acted before but I kind of fell in with this comedy group and then that was kind of my go-to and then I just stumbled my way up the chain but what you guys are doing has has just invigorated guys coming out of the military really you've given guys hope that that wasn't really available when I went to get in the military my father was so pissed when I got out he was like are you is it because you joined the navy he you know he wanted me to go in the navy. He wanted me to stay in the navy and do twenty. Really? Yeah. So when so I got he was so mad when you got retirement. He, I mean, he was pissed when I got retired when I came out. Yeah. I see. When you yeah. came out. Yep. You want to yeah. talk more about that? I came that? out of the military. Mm-mm. Came out of the military. Oh, and I came oh. out of the closet. Not well, I do a joke closet. actually. It's funny because okay, so when I was like forty, I was still single. Wait, doing, how, how old are you now? Because you don't look forty. Fifty-four. Fuck off, wow, dude. Wow. You're aging. You. You're like Dan's age. That's a Dan's age. That's a Russian tank. A T fifty-four. Yeah. Wow. What, dude? What the fuck in, are you talking about? He's, he you look knows? great. A hey, you look, tank, you look great. A T fifty four. Hey, you don't Jamie, know any of your tanks. Jamie, know no homo. You look great, man. Thanks, man. For real. Yeah, you look beautiful. That. A little bit. It's of, those baths. A little bit of homo. You look it's great. a lot of baths. It's a lot of baths. So you've just been taking baths consistently since nineteen eighty seven. Dude, I, and uh, not only that, but I bathe probably 20, 21 hours a day. Wow. Ah, I, I like that. In, I stay in liquid and I fill it with paraffin and paraffin. A lot of steam stuff. A lot of steam. Very By the way, the paraffin is candle wax. I've never. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I, I'm like that. You know, some things. Yeah, I know yeah, a lot yeah, of paraffin. Things. That's how yeah. my skin stays nice. And Is supple. it really? Yeah. <laughs> Here, feel. So you get Everybody, out of the you get, out, you get out of the navy. <laughs> Here, feel. Hold on. Feel my you, skin. How do you go? <laughs> I'll feel your skin. Feel this. I'll Let feel me stop. How soft is this? This navy guy keeps feel trying this. to get us to feel his skin. No, yeah. feel this. I'll no, no, you. it's inside the rectum skin. I'll make you. I'll make you. I want you to feel my wall skin. Oh, your wall skin. No sugar walls. It's not that soft anymore. It's getting a little bit harder. Feel a little bit more. Give it a rub. Yeah, no, no, no. Put some lubricant on there it. There you go. I feel, I feel like it. I've been tricked before. <laughs> yeah, and you, should, yeah, you At have. the end of the show, he's like, did I just give that guy a hand I job? definitely you have. Did you know, I just I always wait for the that just is, smell it line. That episode got away <laughs> from it. Because I felt like I just <laughs> jacked that guy. I, I, I yeah. always fall for that just smell it just line. Just smell it. <laughs> <laughs> just smell it. Come on, just smell it. Uh, do you think you can tell, as a Navy guy, do you think you could tell the quality of a man's penis by the smell? Well, I would, not even as a Navy man, as a human, I think you could. I mean, it's like, he, yeah, you know, it's like a wound. It's like if it smells, you know it's gangrenous. Don't go near that wound. Yeah. So wound and Very not true. womb. Mm. Yeah. I see where you're going. Yeah. Also, yeah. You're doing some rhyming schemes? I love that. I'm yeah. probably not it's bringing too. It all it's like very that. Eminem, Mom's Spaghetti. I Ooh. like it a lot. Womb. When you left Rome. the military, though, <laughs> could be my he how did you to get into stand-up and so, acting? So let me stay with Jesus you, because you're the guy Christ. who stays on track. Trying to. Good luck trying with these two. Hey, this is hey, off the hey. goddamn rails. We were talking about wall skin over here. That's yeah. important. Yeah. They're like moths that just kind of get attracted by a different light. Uh, so I got out, and I wanted the job that paid you the most for the least amount of work. And acting seemed like That's that. That's an amazing job. Yeah. Right. That's not a bad plan, yeah. And so I was in San Diego, and I got a job bartending, and then I started acting, and I started working. And, um, yeah, I guess, I mean, you know. What I've was your first it. gig? My first job was my first audition. I was in an improv uh, group, and some woman came. She's like, hey, I have, I, I am an agent. I'll rep you. I'll send you out if you want. And I go, sure. And so she, like that week, she goes, hey, I have a commercial audition for SeaWorld. And I went, and I booked it. And so Shut my the fuck first up. first job I ever got was the first audition, and I went, uh, booked a SeaWorld commercial. I made like $30,000. Off of one day's work, and which I, is wow. amazing. This is the greatest wow. job ever. I, of course, didn't work again for like six more months. But I, but I. But that's a year's yeah. worth of. I mean, yeah. well, come on, six, that's a year's worth. Sixty years ago, did, when you uh, got more than renegade. Nineteen forty-eight. Yeah. When you had thirty thousand dollars <laughs> yeah. cash, that I mean, went I, a long dude, way. Yeah, yeah. I could have back in those days. I mean, you, you were able retired. to buy that was a billion dollars of Ford Model T for three thousand dollars. Yeah. But you've done the Mike like, T had just come out that year. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and I, uh, Henry Ford had said it was going to change Henry the world. Henry Ford. Extra, extra. Yeah. You, you no longer <laughs> have to ride a horse. But you've Can done. We? You've done Friends. You've done Third Rock in the Sun. Will and Grace. Will and Grace. Sure. Were you a coffee shop? Employee? I worked with Gene Wilder on Will and Grace. Oh, Gene oh, Wilder. Oh, he was the best. Where the, the fuck bomb. is Gene Wilder? He's dead. He's I know dead. now, but He's like, dead. where He's the dead. fuck was he for the last thirty years of his life? You know what? He honestly, when he started, he worked when he wanted to, and he was he worked. He didn't work when he didn't want to. Yeah, I know. I just missed. 
Friends. I know. We Jennifer all Aniston. Yep. Jay Aniston. She was very nice. She's was very she? nice. She, they, she was sorry. very nice. Do you to me. think she has a hint of crazy girlfriend in her? Why does she go through all these husbands? Uh, I think she's career oriented, and I don't know. I don't, I'm, maybe she didn't want to have a family, and other people did. I don't know. But she she was very yeah, nice. She's person. got no she kids. She's nice. what fifty three. Fifty. Yeah. She's turned fifty. I can't tell you. She's got a new show too. Does Smart Water? But she is aging fantastic. She looks. Oh yeah, well, so she are you. Yeah, she's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, yeah. you both are taking a lot of. Yeah, it's the Smart Water. Yeah. Are you doing anything yeah. extracurricular? Any HGH? Any of that shit? No. Like, you got any? Fuck oh yeah, yeah. I we might know like oh, Dan has AIDS. Dan is, but yeah, he's yeah. got he some. If you get so, here's the thing with AIDS now. With AIDS, uh, it's almost yeah. gone. They got a cure for it. Yes, well, correct. That's the thing. So part Very of the close. cocktail for AIDS is HGH. As a, yeah, human growth hormone. Yeah, that's sense. right. Yeah. So you just get so that's in there. So when you like look at like see, Charlie Sheen, why you're like, why is that motherfucker jacked and he's because he he's got AIDS? HGH is in there. That's part of the cocktail. So ah, like, yeah. So if you get AIDS, that'll be a shortcut to. So, all of that. so then you you could justify it and you could say yeah oh I do HGH but I got AIDS is that so you can do it that way I don't know I, for some reason I just don't see that as a deterrence anymore for anybody it's like AIDS yeah only, even if you're only like, hey, poor people AIDS, die of AIDS like, now uh, for sure okay. well only poor people die of anything it feels like at times well then there's Luke Perry that comes around and you're like why why take that precious little angel Drop. you know what I'm yeah. saying you could have taken Amy a Schumer's poor Amy Schumer's out there hobo. running around doing her thing and Luke Perry dies Listen. yeah you could have taken a poor hobo oh, is this, off the is this streets show and anti Luke Amy Perry. Schumer uh, I don't care one way or the other. Oh, we, <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll say it. I fucking hate Amy Schumer. I think Why? Was she mean to you? I uh, think she was really funny up until about three years ago, and then she just started going all social justice. Like, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Shit so, happens. I get it, though. She you made get her, to here's that what level. happens with every female comedian, though. It's you get big, man. and then all of a sudden it is we are women, and that, that gets piled on you. Well, you're but just if you a- knew the shit she had to put up with to get to where she is. Oh, I'm sure, but she I'm made sure. her bones I mean, make as a, it like As a comic on the road, you should see the way... Women are treated, I think, way worse than men are, and men, for men, it's horrible. That's an every. Yeah. That's yeah. A fucking screaming that, at you, drunk. Every yeah, show. That's an every profession. Yeah, yeah. But that's in every profession in life. So like, why are you different? Shitty. Why are you treated differently than any, any other profession? You walk in an Olive Garden during all you can eat, you know, fucking endless <laughs> pasta night. Those waitresses are treated the same goddamn way. They don't make as much money as Amy. Yeah, Yeah, fuck you. I say it's endless salad. I need more fucking salad. Amy Schumer. The funny thing about Amy Schumer was that she did not give a fuck about people's feelings. Right. Yes. The great thing about Amy Schumer is that she's fucking great at telling jokes. She's a really good joke teller. Yeah, but I did. So I was headlining Gotham City in New York. I was on My Boys at the time, and I was doing a week at Gotham, which Mm -hmm. is this fantastic club. It's on like twentieth and seventh, I think, right by the Chelsea Hotel, Mm -hmm. which said vicious. Uh, did his damage And so uh, For the Sunday night show They call me And they go Hey you're gonna have A couple of uh, drop ins tonight Yeah We just wanna make sure You're okay with it uh, Is it okay if Jerry Seinfeld Shows up and does a show You're like hey! <laughs> hey! Is, it okay? Hey! is it okay If Jesus so, shows up And yeah. serves yeah, Christian yeah, right. Exactly yeah. Like I show jokes. up Christ party Sunday, of 13 <laughs> And they said We have this new comic This younger comic Amy Schumer And I go Fantastic Yeah whoever's on And so we'd go To do the shows It's a small class Like maybe 100 people In the room Amy Schumer goes on before me. She's great. She's a great joke teller. She was, it was before she was hugely famous. She was unbelievably sweet, nice, told fantastic jokes, did her time, got off. Seinfeld goes on, does 20 minutes. He goes, I only do 20. Does 20, just destroys the room. I yeah. have to go on after Seinfeld. How do you go on after Seinfeld? You know what you do is what I did. I went on and I talked about Jerry Seinfeld for yeah. the first five minutes and said, I got to tell you, I'm, I'm like you guys. Fucking Seinfeld was just here. Yeah. And so they were kind of on board and then... You know, he also he took some questions at the end and, and let the energy kind of come down. And then, um, so it was great. I ended up talking so about him for five minutes, and then, then. I he had to do like forty five minutes. After. He, he knows what he's doing up there. He's not going to send you. He off. also doesn't waste a word. He's such a pro. I mean, I think he's even talked about the fact that he he has said that he believes he's even on the outside of the spectrum, like. Aspergers are very, oh, yeah. very meticulous is, yeah. about everything. So yeah. he never gets up and goes, "What should we talk about?" He gets up and he's like. He's God damn he works hard He had ten, he, he was doing 20 minutes And they were all Kind of newer jokes And he just got up And did 20 minutes Committed They were magnificent To the, to the second like, Never fucked yeah, around Never yeah. like broke from the joke And talked to people that much Just did his material And then he did some Q&A at the end But he was fantastic to watch But that's what a pro is He's such a pro Because usually You yeah. know if you're doing, I get if up, you're doing It takes me five minutes To say hi to people Exactly And, and if you're around, doing new material And you're it. fucking around with he people He walked up Hit joke one You're like God damn that fucking guy's good Yeah, yeah. And this yeah. new thing he's doing, the comedians in cars having coffee, he's doing that. I, I feel like he's doing because I've watched a lot of it. I feel like he's doing it to help other people. 
Like he is, and to careers. keep his foot in. I, I think he's one of those guys. Because he's a goddamn billionaire at this yeah. point, right? He doesn't need no, any more money. He doesn't money. need no, any more he's, no, he's no. good. He actually owes he's people like, money. But he <laughs> loves <laughs> comedy yeah. so much. He does. If you're in New York, he's still jumping up. Yeah. He's writing. Isn't he writes that every everybody day. Everybody in the circle. Well, like, is anybody no, not Eddie like Mur- it? Eddie Murphy, uh, Adam Sandler stopped doing stand up for years. They became movie stars, and all of a sudden they don't have an act. And so they get terrified to go back up. They don't want to eat shit. Because I've also seen, I just did a show with Chris Titus. You know Titus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Titus did great, great stand up for years. Great show he used to have. Oh, Titus. Titus. It's called yeah. Titus. It's called Titus. So yeah. he got and up. It was, uh, who was the dad? The guy from the fucking Cheech Cosby Kong show. Movies. I'm totally kidding. No, it was uh, <laughs> Stacey Keach, yeah. Yes. yes. It was his dad. Great, it was great. Man. Show. That was a great show. So Titus does more one man shows where it's like a John Leguizamo. So I have a story to tell. There's jokes in here. So he had just finished shooting his special for the first one, and we get up. It's like a Sunday night at Flappers. There's maybe 50 people in the audience, and he gets up, and I go, ugh, I'm going after him. And so we're talking beforehand. He's like, oh, don't worry about it, dude. He goes, I'm trying all new stuff. And he goes, I'm going to eat shit. And I, you, know, you cringe, and you go, you don't want to eat shit, but he has the courage to get up and do the jokes he wrote, hoping he'll get... He'll see what works, and he even talks about it at the beginning. He goes, hey, everybody. And they were like, oh, my God, Titus is here, thinking they're going to get a polished 20. They're not. Yeah. He, how else do you work it out? So he wrote 10 minutes, got up, memorized it, got up, performed it. You know, some of them bombed, some, some hit. And so he talks about the fact I'm working out a show. And so he'll keep all those jokes. He'll get rid of the rest. He'll do it again until he has another 90-minute show, and then he'll go film it as a special. But people don't understand that, and some idiot will film it and then put it up online and go, oh, I saw Titus eat a bowl of shit. Yeah, he's fucking working it out. And he that's bombs. What he fucking yeah. sucks. And you're like, dude, I, I, I'm in the Chappelle theory where <sighs> you should lock your cell phones in a bag when you walk in. They just yeah. did it. I was at the Improv the other night. Yeah, but I thought every comedy They're show doing that I've been to now is no phone. No Phones. And it should be there. You're and always working on new it, shit. Yeah. 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 And who are you to own footage of me? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Who are you? You're not a. I didn't hire you as my documentary yeah. crew. Who gave you right. the fucking right to take my image and do what you want? Well, with how long? Because they you, can cut it and fuck you up. And when, yeah. when, when you come, when you start a new set, when you come across a new like, I don't know how long your shows usually are, but if you start a new 30, 45, how long do you go through that whole process like three to six weeks maybe before you go longer do a major longer than that it's like the first album for a band yeah, yeah. it takes years yeah. so, some, some, some everybody's, comedians it's like 18 months everybody's where, wow. first yeah. hour is I mean it's got to be years it takes yeah. you five years before you even know who the fuck you are and then eight or nine years in you start to go man I might have an hour and then like certain guys like Bill Burr what they do is they, they they're so prolific and they're up on stage every night yeah. Doing three sets around he, town. That dude doesn't fuck around. He man. does not fuck and around. But, but and they'll start a, at like comedy store, go to improv. Right. I mean, they'll they'll but hit it methodically. But he's also a machine now. So as soon yeah. as he has, he has such a point of view that whatever material you give him will go into the filter, come right out the machine, and there it is as a Bill Burr joke. I've seen him half a dozen times live, and every time it's been different. But every time it's the same basic formula. Like what the fuck? Yeah, what yeah. the Boston yeah. guy yeah. who's yeah. fucking yeah. angry. But about he always shit. fuck is this about? He does a yeah. little yeah. little bit of homework about yeah. the lo- local place he's doing, and he'll just like riff on the crowd yep. for the first fifteen. I'm like, wow, probably, this is really impressive. But he I'm, probably featured at that club eight or nine different years. He went as a yeah. feature and open for people before they finally headlined him, and before he finally got credits. Yeah. Uh, Gaffigan, I used to do my boys with, and he would tell me he told me the first ten years he was on the fucking. I love road. Gaffigan. Have you, have you seen an? Un- uh, you probably have. Not a lot of people have seen an unclean Jim Gaffigan show. And it's not funnier, but it's different. And he doesn't, have, you know, he started, well, he talked about it because he, when he first started, he was dirty. Yeah. And then, he, and then the rule of thumb was if you want to get on TV, get clean. And so he finally cleaned up his act. And now he is the economist of words. He, not one word in his act is wasted. Yeah. When you see his act, we went down, he was down here. His wife is one of his writers. She is. Yeah. And she played his wife on our show, on yes. My Boys. They, yes. they hired her. And, Correct. Um, you see his act, and you're like, you, you can take any one of his jokes, and you couldn't, there's not one word you could pull out. You know what I mean? Where you're just like. There's no exposition. It's yeah. mathematically a perfect joke. Where you're like, they just, it's crafted to this point where you're like, when you watch him, that's why it's like, he gets, he gets 10 laughs a minute. Every six seconds is another laugh. Seriously. Of like, where you you're get, like, there's no, yeah. Brian who, Regan, maybe there's a handful of guys. Regan's get that the same, yeah. Just yeah people we, love Regan. I, I, I fucking love Brian that, Regan. Well, let me, let me ask you one guy that everybody loves who's crushing it, Forbes-wise. When I saw his numbers, because they had the top comedians, the top grossing comedians last year. There's a guy named Sebastian Maniscalco. Huge. Why? He, just, he sold at Madison Square Garden like three I, straight I, times. I, why? Uh, and are you a fan? I am. He's a really funny cat, and I, I've met him a handful of times over the years. Uh, to his credit, 
it's like guys like him, Burt Kreischer, Joe Coy. They well, Burt, Bert I know, and they're and, on and, stage, and it's great. Every Sebastian, night. though, to me is like my hat. wife's sauce is so yeah. fucking thick. Yeah. Where you're like, yep, he acts out. I everything. can't, but I, I can't get into it's that. Not, it's not for It you. reminds me of a, of a late '80s comic to me, where it's just like it doesn't fit um, today's world. Dan, get I the do fuck get off that. your phone. I do get that. Um, I was looking up that dude's face. I recognize him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. certain comics, if it's not your taste, I mean, it's like bands. Is it your I taste? I'm. I, it's, I don't love. It's not. It's, it doesn't appeal to me as much his act, but I can see it, and I can see the the genius of it. Why he is kinda, that financially he, he so me, successful in today's world? He reminds me of Dom Herrera. Remember that guy? Dom Herrera still. He's probably the last. Yeah. He's still. He's, he's probably doing three sets tonight. I fucking love Dom, that guy. Yeah. He he's used to best. tell. He used to tell this joke about how he used to. Do a class to teach Italians how to be more Italian. It's one of my favorite fucking bits he does. Well, look at Russell Peters. It has a very specific, yeah. Yeah. you know, Joe Coy has a Filipino thing going. Yes. You get your, I feel like you Coy find got your a niche. Pretty broad uh, acceptance. Coy's too, just though. funny. Yeah, he's, a he's funny just guy. funny as you shit. You find Sebastian funny. I do find Sebastian funny. Uh, whether his material sh- strikes home with me or not, it's, I'm not an Italian guy who's like, who make the sauce, but yeah. I can see it. I get it. Because to me, it reminds me of the, the old school Seinfeld school of, of comedy in the 80s. Sure. Stay clean. Richard Jenny. Yes, yes. Stay clean. Really? Yeah. Stay you know, on TV He's all the time story. or whatever. To me, in today's comedic environment, which is I'm, I'm stoked you're on the show today, we're l- very limited. Like To be a stand-up comedian is fucking hard these days. Unfortunately, it feels like everyone on earth is doing it. But, but, <laughs> but, it used to be like people were really? terrified, and now everyone is like, hey, I'm, I'm an empty nester. I'm gonna do st- I see these shows all over town where everyone's like, I'm going to do stand-up, I go. And they think they're going to get up a handful of times and put together. And it's like, no, dude. Like Before my kids were born, I was on stage six nights a week. Yeah. Eating shit. Killing just three wherever I could get on stage. I did laundromats. I did bowling alleys. I did youth hostels where nobody spoke fucking English. But in today Everywhere. in today's PC society, yeah. right? How do you get away with? I, I feel like Chappelle, Bill Burr. There's a, a podcast you can get away with it. They're established, yeah. Rogan and all those guys can get away with it. It feels how like you, how do you changing feel to me exactly? And and how does that change your act? Uh, well, it doesn't. Sh- it doesn't change my act per se because I've always been just I just tell stories. I'm very autobiographical. So before I had kids, I talked about drinking and partying and being a single guy who all my friends got married and had kids and I used to rail against why why would people have so many children? You know, what are you, a farmer from the eighteen hundreds? You know, there's no reason to have sixteen kids anymore. They cured polio. All you're doing is fucking up traffic. I used to do stuff like that. And now right. I have two kids. So my whole act is about having children. So it nothing affects my act because I just get up and talk about my own life. But I do see that kids today are telling – they get up and it's, it's almost like videos sometimes where if you, if you put out a really polished video, it won't get the same type of response as a guy who just talks to camera goes, hey, man, I'm out in front of Walgreens and what's up with fucking toenail clippings? Right. And that, that video will get billions of views, but the guy who does it on a green screen and adds all kinds of polish and smoke and mirrors, people like Poo Poo, I don't want to see that. They almost want it rough. raw. They want it raw, right? Right. And I feel like stand-ups become that way. You almost... I've done shows at places lately, with, and if it's a younger crowd, sometimes if you do straight set-up punchline stuff, they're like, we're not buying that shit, dude. Well, they seeing- almost want to see some kid meander through a story about, yeah. about his latest Uber ride. Chad. Yeah. And yeah, it's like yeah. a ten minute story that has no point, no punchline, no structure to but the jokes. But what do I fucking know? I feel like I mean, what are those two dudes right now that just got really popular in the last year that keep trolling the fucking city government out here in Los Angeles in Hollywood? Didn't oh, see it. You know what I'm talking oh, about? Yeah. JT and they want to build a, a Paul Walker statue down in San they're, Diego. They're on, <laughs> which is great, they're, but so they're, you're right. The they're thing, not. They're not stand up comedians. No, they're yes. on Fox News all but the time they, too. It's they, so yeah. funny. They started going to city government meetings here in Hollywood, and and proposing the most fucking of. Two things that you could think of. Because like, they're it's funny to me. They're it's films. really it's so funny. Okay, all right. That seems but, really but, funny. But what was the one? They the know one their public they, access. Like, so you can you can take the footage. Were they and then you can upload stood it online. Up and they yeah. wanted the right to. They needed more water or something like that to hold a fucking wet T-shirt contest or yeah. something. But some they're stupid, they're yeah. pushing this forward in city government. Right. Like this is why I think we need this. And now Fox News is putting them on there. Like, what do you guys think about that? Yeah, they yeah. they they proposed that a giant statue of Paul Walker needed to be built here in Hollywood. I feel like it should. <laughs> yeah, well, so do I. One of my R.I.P. Fa- Paul Walker. One of the favorite 
things I've seen lately is when they were on Fox News and uh, one of the kids had just bleached his hair and oh, yeah. like teased it out. <laughs> and the, the host from Fox was like, dude, what the fuck happened to your hair? And he goes, oh, it's a sick burn, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, Which it is. So funny, Which it man. is. But those guys aren't stand-up comedians. No, they don't. I think stand-up so is what almost you, dying because it, yes. you don't need to. Like when I moved here, the only way to get into the business was to do theater. So I joined a comedy theater company Acme and we did sketches every Friday Saturday we put our hats and wigs and mustaches on and we did sketches in front of like 12 people on Hollywood Friday Boulevard. fucking night nowadays some kid living in Minnesota goes I don't need to do that you know what I'm gonna do I'll shoot a fucking video in my backyard I'll get 12 million views like you guys that's and what then I you learned get to, that, that's you what get I learned to the point Jared, where you're man, like yeah. But that's what people want and, and it's funny and it doesn't you don't have to do this you don't have to go through the same system that I had to go through you created your own thing to a point where we even talked about it earlier that like for you like YouTube stars to go to a network would take a pay cut why would they ever do that like television is dying on the vine and yes. they know it they're yeah. scrambling they're trying to do all access like oh you're gonna have to pay they don't know how to monetize it anymore you guys are the innovators of what's happening and, and you're gonna create what the next form of comedy is the same way like when Monty Python came out you know yeah. there was some older dude who's like that's not fucking funny yeah. right. but we were kids and we, we were like, like that's oh so fucking god. funny yeah, yeah, oh my yeah, god yeah. a naked kids guy playing piano yeah. yes like, but, and a lot of people said that Comedy Central Presents when Comedy Central first started out like reinvigorated the stand up community Absolutely. in a lot of ways. What's the next thing? Is it this? What is, is the it next the fucking, thing? Is it the internet? What is the next thing? I don't know, but I, I think about like Richard Pryor. Like he's to me my favorite comic of yeah. all time. I loved Pryor. Everybody goes to Pryor. I, Every because he was the time. first of my generation, he was the first guy. I mean, he told stories that you wanted to tell about having a heart attack and it being a fucking Coke fiend and made them funny, which nobody had done that before. I mean, I guess Lenny Bruce kind Lenny, of started yeah, too. Yeah. But even he he devolves at the end of just reading transcripts. But you know some dude who was older saw what, what Pryor was doing and was like, oh, he's just being a potty mouth. That's not the comedy I grew up on, but for a whole next generation. So what will be the next iteration of comedy? I don't, I don't know. But it, I mean, I feel like stand-up, this traditional, I'm going to tell you about airplane food, is not yeah. is not what it is. I anymore. don't know, but my days. wife's sauce is so thick. Hey, let's take a moment to appreciate. I think what is the funniest thing to come out of 2019 so far is Michael Rappaport's cat. Oh, that cat! Just did stand up with him <laughs> Tuesday night. I just did stand up with Michael Rappaport so, at the Improv. Oh, well, so by the way, no, so uh, tell me this: I'd never seen him do stand up before. Ra oh, so yes, wait, wait, wait. Let me ask did? you. This. He was great. Ra so Rappaport was on our show, uh -huh. right? Uh, Joe Rogan actually posted. He said, "Look." Hey, man, I know there's a lot of fucking bullshit comedians coming out of, uh, of the podcast world or whatever, but he goes, Michael Rappaport's legit. I said the same thing to my buddy. I, that's so funny. Ah! So it's true. <laughs> Come look well, at this fucking cat. What I was, was, so, what was intrigued. so different about I was about so his... intrigued to watch him because I think he's a wonderful actor. He's always great in whatever he's in. And so I watched him. But the, you know what the difference is? Do you have material? And he did. He told great stories about growing up in New York, and they were they had a lot of punchlines. And and he's such like it's like certain guys, Chappelle, Harlan Williams. They have a funny cadence. They mm -hmm. speak funny. Right. Some people do. Some people don't. Rappaport's just fucking funny. He's great. So he rambles yeah. through a story which could go south eventually, but he had a point. And it really was great. I thought he, I was like, God damn, that dude could have easily been a fantastic stand up. And he he's was, doing he it was now. one of our best episodes he's that we've, so that we've had on this show. Because he's crazy. Yeah. Yes. And he, he goes, hey, in a he doesn't way. care. He'll he, just say whatever. Not only does he that. not care, but we didn't know him from Adam. And he goes, uh, you in New York? Well, yeah. And he goes, great. Here's my address. Come over to my house. We'll do the show in like 20 minutes. And I was yeah. like, what? And he's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll put the Knicks game so on the background. We'll watch the game, fuck off, and, and we'll do a show so for however. I, the show went, my wife was with me. The show went almost like two hours, and the game was on or whatever. And he goes, Oh, fuck, we've been going this long? Yeah. Great. Awesome, man. I love you. Take care. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Didn't know him from Adam. And Funny it was shit. Great guy. Yep. Great fucking guy. It's cool to see because I will tell you, I mean, the whole stand up world, it's like, I love when comics are getting pissed that Stormy Daniels is headlining comedy clubs. Did you see that whole thing? <laughs> oh, yeah. Because that's know, real. Right? Did you see it? It's real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all these comics were up in arms, like, who the fuck does she think she is? She's taking a weekend at the Chuckle Hut in Kansas City. And Party is like, well, you weren't getting that week anyway. What the fuck do you care? Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, if she can sell tickets, all the power to her. I mean, people are trying to earn money. Jeremy Piven's doing stand-up, and it's like it's one way I to go heard, out. I heard shows. that didn't go well. I had a friend He's go still to, doing it. I, I, I haven't seen it I had a friend go yet. to that, and they said it was almost uncomfortable. You know, the thing with Piven is this. He got me too. Um, he's trying to slowly work his way back into to everything else. I, 
I've met him numerous times. He is not a stand-up comedian. I, I have no problem with saying that. Then there's a lot of he's people. He's not a comic. And well, what, and, what in your world, in your world, he literally there's a lot of people that like, are. He would like start to bomb, and he would go back just being Ari, and everybody would laugh. And when he'd get comfortable, he'd go to try and shift it to. Well, that here's the thing: when you're super <laughs> famous already, right? Yeah. You have an advantage stepping on that stage where 75% of the time, you can probably attest to this, people are going to laugh no matter what because they're already used to your the, face. Yeah. The first 15 minutes are free. Yes. That's what they say. And then after and that, then after that if you're doing a full hour, fight. it's yeah. a street fight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is. And the other thing is, people don't like when you're in the when you're the feature. It's the rocking chair because you got to get up and do 20 minutes. The opener already got up. Everyone's got their drinks. Everyone's settled in. They're attentive. You get up destroy 20 minutes right then the headliner comes up people are like oh i'm so excited for the headliner but they kind of have to piss a few people are going out yeah. they, they want to get well let me get one more round while he's on but they're watching time they're kind of starting to think about a babysitter all of a sudden the checks come out with like 20 minutes left yeah. and then they're doing <laughs> math at the table while you're trying to tell jokes and he's like hey you had so did you have the two cosmos and they're cutting two checks. cards two cards yeah, we're two, splitting split two cards. cards right two cards and yeah so if you don't have if you're not a destroyer headliner, it can go south real quick. Yeah. And all of a sudden, people leave going, boy, the feature was great. <laughs> yeah, 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 right? <laughs> Which happened to me. That's happened to me many times. I, would, I, had, had, uh, I had featured for guys who were big, probably big name headliners, and uh, I, would, I had 20 minutes rocking. Like, I didn't waste a word. I had 20 minutes polished. I would get up, fucking hit it. Hit the deck plates running. 20 minutes. Ah, see you later. Yep. Get off the stage. The other, the other guy who would get up after me might be a more quiet comic and more peaceful, and it went south. And then the next day I went to uh, the club, and the guy was like, hey, we just just do 10 tonight. Just 10. Yeah. And, uh, and <laughs> no swearing. You cut your and legs you, off. You're like, you, wait, wait, wait. And you can't swear. No. They told me I couldn't swear, and they said, uh, do only 10. Oh, and, God. Uh, because the dude was, yeah, that's what happens when before you headline, when you start featuring and destroying, then then you start to feel like, oh, I should headline. And then you headline, and some dude goes on before you, and all of a sudden, as the week goes, he's doing more and more jokes that are really similar to your fucking act. Yeah. And you all, you have to take him to the side and go, hey, I, you know I have a bit, which you didn't do the first night, but all of a sudden, day three, you're doing something really similar to this block. You're kind of fucking me, dude. It was like, oh, but they want, you know, they're the local guy. They want to fuck over, they want to blow out the doors on the headliner. And so all of a sudden you're in this fucking war and they're filthy. They're telling fucking crazy stories. And you're like, dude, you got to clean it up a little bit. And all of a sudden you're the headliner who tells the feature to go, stop doing that. And you don't bring your fucking guitar on stage before me. You change the <laughs> fucking room, dick. Are you talking about Nick Thune? I'm no, kidding. I I'm love kidding. Thune. I'm kidding. Like no, Thune. Thune's one of my, my like really Is he coming to do good the show? friends. No, uh, he's uh, been in like three of my movies. I've cast him in like three movies. Thune's one of my favorites. Uh, but there is. Did when, you play in his golf tournament? No. You know, he has a golf tournament yeah, yeah, for his yeah. kids. Of course. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a diehard. He's a sports fan. You wouldn't, yeah, he's a nut. Yeah. You wouldn't I like figure it looking at him. Looking at him. So, like, for you. He's uh, just a delicious be, boy. Being a guy is the best. Uh, being a guy who's been in the game for so long, who are your favorite young comics coming up right now? That you find most I interesting, where you're like, I "Fuck, knew, man, dude. I want to go not, see this guy." I don't, see, I don't see anybody. The only people I see anymore are people who are on my shows. Um, I don't know. What do you think of the podcast guys that are coming up? Well, I still, I wish, I, I wish I had found that world when I it was like, God, dang, you don't even have to write jokes; just show up and sell out podcasts, and crush, yeah, and yeah, crush, yeah. Because yeah. that is kind of my forte. I'd rather do that than have to like, oh, here's my polished act. <laughs> yeah, just riff on you people. You can come and on shit, and yeah. talk about dicks Listen, for, for any, two hours. You know. I'm a big fan of anything that people are into. So, I mean, it doesn't matter what I like. It's what like, do you think about Theo Vaughn? I'll, I'll throw I some names. I love Theo. You know, we go way back. I don't. He's a good cat. Yeah, so he's been going at it for a long time. A long time. He's one of our most requested guests. Uh, we're trying to get him on oh, this, this week. Have you yeah. talked to him? Is he coming? Uh, he's we, the bomb. We've talked to him back and forth, but he is yet to come. Hardest working we, guy in show business. He's like he came off of Road Rules or something, right? He did, yes. Off of MTV. Yeah, and, and he, so when he, he had first, a rough go of it for at first, but he yeah. like anybody else, he got up and to his credit, uh, he got on stage every night, and all of a sudden you started to see jokes, and you're like, "Fuck, that guy's getting good." And now he's a killer. He's a f crusher. He's great. He's crushing. Yeah. Uh, what about Gerard Car uh, Carmichael? You know, I've I've seen him live a couple times. I've never met him. Uh, very funny. Very funny cat. I thought your main follower was really funny. Gerard is, is the reason why I bring this up. His his delivery and his jokes are really fucking weird to me. He's got an in, off in cadence a, in a great way. Yeah, I've never seen anything like it. Where you're like, are these jokes or is this like your real life and your I real? Think feel, I feel like it's like his real life. To me. I can't tell. Yeah, I don't know. And that's I, but I enjoy that about comedians. Yeah, but it's very rare that you see it where you're just like, ah, all right, cool. Yeah. 
Um, Brian Callen's one of our favorites. I love yeah, Callen. I love Brian, Callen and I go Brian. way back. Brian I've been Callen in rooms. Brian has been in the game for so long. So now. long. Holy yeah. Shit. And one of the hardest working guys. We did yeah. a show. I have a great story about Callen. We did this crazy show uh, at the World Cafe in Santa Monica. And some dude was being the worst fucking heckler. And Callen's a killer. Like he's a piece. Oh yeah. yeah, his yeah, headliners yeah. are fucking funny. He's great. Not just a headliner, but he I, he can fight. Oh yeah, yeah like yeah. like he, in he real fight, life. He trains. Yeah. He he's trains. A, he's a trained yeah. fighter. So the whole time we're like, Callen, just fucking kill that dude. <laughs> and his uh, I think his wife was with him at the time or something. He's like, I, I can't, I can't. My wife's here. She won't let me kill that guy. Yeah. Go, all the comics were like, for the love of God, Callen, just fucking destroy that cat. And we wanted to make, he didn't end up killing the guy, but he, they kind of had words, and then the dude kind of backed off and went away. And I love Callan. Callan's the best because Callan will fucking go right into, he'll go right at people. He's, he's a <laughs> genuinely hilarious guy. He's all a naturally day long, funny cat. Where there's no, like, yeah. all right, great. He needs jokes to go up on stage. Whereas, you know, look, you've seen it. A lot of 90% of comedians aren't, aren't funny in real life. You couldn't have a real conversation right. with him. No. Uh, but no, Callan's one of those genuinely in, lights hilarious up the day dudes all day and long. And is just having fun all day. Yeah. Yeah. What do you Which think seems so exhausting at times, doesn't it? <laughs> We're like, dude, gotta turn it off. It's yeah, annoying. exactly. I, I know like guys like that. And it's annoying. When you I'm were kidding. watching Robin Williams, uh, like, get interviewed later in his career, you're like, oh, this just is coming off sad. Yeah. At some point, you want to be just like, can you just be normal for five minutes? But some people can't. They just can't. Turn I it enjoy off. the fuck out of it though. Like, I yeah. think I think Robin Williams got the gig of like, hey, I'm famous as shit. Everybody's paying for this. I'll be hilarious all goddamn long. As soon as the camera's off, I'm going to drink and be as depressing as I actually am. Oh, no. He still had to be the funniest guy in the room, I feel like. I, I, well, the one time... So I met him once, right? And it was at Birds on uh, Franklin. Sure. And I was like, man, holy shit, that's Robin, Robin Williams. Williams. It's a big one. And he was so drunk and depressing that I was like, yeah. God... I mean, it brought my whole shit down. Same with Jim Carrey. When I met Jim Carrey, it was... It, he was so depressed it brought my whole shit down. I was like, yeah. Jesus Christ. But then you meet somebody like Callan, who is normal, yeah. fun, blast he's a normal, all the time. He's a normal cat. I would rather party yeah. with Callan nine nine times yeah. out of ten than Robin Williams, where you're just like, holy shit. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about the Rogan effect that's going on right now in comedians? What is the Rogan effect? Every time you go on Rogan, it's like Oprah. So oh, it is. For it is. every comedian be, that's going on, it used Bert to be Kreischer. like Chelsea lately. Bert's one of those. Yeah, and Bert was a good crew. friend uh, back in the day. I haven't, I haven't seen him in probably ten years. Yeah. But dude, that guy was a grinder forever. Kreischer goes on Rogan. Or Rogan? Bert, Bert Kreischer. Bert yeah. Kreischer goes on Rogan. Absolutely explodes. Same yep. with the, the rest of those guys. What do you feel about that as far as helping comedians these days? It's amazing. Rogan's. I mean, he's a machine. I mean, he, what he's doing is crazy. Have you done stand up with him? No, I've uh, I've seen him in the improv a bunch of times. I've never been even on the same lineup with him. I don't think over the years. Um, I do remember seeing him before news radio one time live at the improv, and he did this bit about I think it was lions fucking or something. And yes, I, and I was rolling. I was like, God damn, that guy's funny. He tore the stage apart. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then I think he got news radio like the next year or something. And I had just I was just starting comedy, and I saw him, and I was like, the commitment was just over the top, and it was a great bit. So what's your overall dream going forward? Movies? Because, look, you had a hit, hit I show on TV. I want to stop working, be independently wealthy, play some golf, hang out with my kids. And you're done with it. Tour. No, I like doing, <laughs> I love doing stand-up, and I love the acting part. Uh, you know, it's a grind at some point because you're always continually looking for new jobs. We were talking to Lemmy. I'm doing his show, Tacoma Fire Department, that's coming out. And I did I'm Sorry. So I'm always recurring, and I'm hosting a show for the Travel Channel, Ghost Hunting Show. No shit. Did you not know? Did you know that I one? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you yeah, believe we in it? We talked about this. I don't not believe in it. He doesn't not believe why, in it. Why? Why so? This is a great. So my my wife. Are you guys says, ghost hunting? No, no, no. But she she does the sound for a lot of these shows. We've had this debate on on my show, Ross Patterson Revolution, forever. I believe in ghosts. She doesn't. Yes or no? Ghosts are real. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I've never seen. I, I don't know. I don't know. Here's I mine and Tyler, and Tyler's theory. Tyler Gray. Okay. From oh, Seal God. Team. There's Where are all the bodies? Yeah. Where are all the bodies? Shut the fuck up. There's 15 billion dead people right now. That would mean shoulder to shoulder, no matter where you walk, you're walking around on ghosts. So where are they all? Well, that's, I guess That's it's... really not accurate, because everybody that's alive right now would fit in downtown Miami. If they just all stood straight up, you would still fit there. So what you're saying is fucking You're retarded. saying you can fit 4 billion people in... 7.8 billion people, which is how many actually Miami. Yes. You're so Dolly. full of Wait, shit. Wait, are we are we stacked on top of each other? No, standing side by side like China, kind of. Yeah, That's very similar roll. to yeah. China. Yeah, everybody that is alive right now on Earth, which is about how much double cubic space, does a human take up? That's 
how much that's how that's they did the math question. for this. They're, Who this, did this? Uh, Mythbusters did this. Yeah. They did this. They did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. We'd fit I love Miami. that they chose Miami. Miami. Yeah. I'm still yeah. there's well, a lot of dead ghosts. We're gonna, we're gonna put people was... right next to each other by, by by the billions, and you know what we should choose? A really hot, humid area. Well, let's see. Let's get them all there. I don't know if weather played a factor. I think it was the size of the city. Miami. Who knows? Interesting. But why would I you, can't why help would but notice that Jared is a little tired today. Did you catch this at all? It's not that he's tired. Is it, he is hungry? So it's like a bear where it's just is he like, hung hey, over. Yeah, yeah. No. Feel the bear. No, not at, not at all. It was his birthday yesterday. You didn't tear it up last night. How no. old do you think Jared is? Uh, twenty-four. Come on, at thirty that, years of that. Hmm? Is that real? No, no. How old do you think Jared is? Uh, I don't know. To do the math, I would say thirty-four. Thirty-four. Four. Thirty-four. 30, yeah. He turned thirty-four yesterday. Didn't really want to do that much, except you played uh, first-person shooter video games. We did uh, maybe two hours worth of fake rap songs on the internet. Yeah. I felt like you, you lived your best life for your birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You had did. a steak. Yeah, you had, you had your favorite steak at your favorite restaurant. Where'd yeah. you go? And that was nice. It's right. It's, I'll buy your it's, house. It's literally outside my elevator. Yeah. Did you, guys, all you about flew in this morning? What? Did you yes. fly in this we morning? Flew, ah, yeah. we flew in. Everything you saw to come see together. here was set up. It is. It is. Okay. So you didn't answer Let's the question. Do you the believe in track. ghosts? Yeah. Do you believe in ghosts? Yes. Um, I believe there's something out there. I haven't had an experience myself where I've been like, oh, my God, that's Uncle Ted. Um, but I will tell you, hosting that show, like it was a live ghost hunt, and it's from the guys who do ghost towns on the Travel Channel, uh-huh. the Tennessee Wraith Chasers. So I would go, I would fly to um, Tennessee every week, Thursday. We'd shoot it live. It was awesome. Live show in this crazy Civil War mansion. And uh, these guys would go on a live ghost hunt, and we'd have all kinds of cameras set up around the house, and it was really intense. And you, I did see many things where I was like, hey, well, what's that doing moving? Yeah. There was some crazy shit going on. Yeah. And uh, it was really fun. So I didn't even know the world existed until I kind of fell into it. And now I, it's so intriguing to me. But I'm always, I'm always like, it's always some ghost from like, you know, the 1720s who was buried in an Indian graveyard. Where's the dude who, like, got drunk and crashed into a tree in 1988? Yeah, what, what ghost do you yeah. want to meet? Where's he? He's, like, yeah. super into Reagan and cocaine. Exactly, and cocaine. yeah, yeah. Where's the guy that you want to meet? What's the ghost that you want to meet? Since uh, you're doing a ghost show, uh, let's go. What ghost would I want to meet? First ghost. Who do you want to meet? Who's my Probably Anne Frank. Yeah, no, that's mine. Really? That's mine. Uh, that's I'm where going you went. Dom DeLuise. Dan, Dan and I no. are Francophiles. I want to ask her. That's a Dom DeLuise is a good one. I want to yeah. ask Anne Frank. How do you feel about all these assholes who took your private diary about the most tragic moment, maybe in human history, yeah. and made it a fucking book? You don't think she'd feel great about it? No. That her word was, oh, oh my God, I the immortality either. she has? I'm, Dave Chappelle does a great bit on this. He's like, I don't call 911 but for two reasons. One of them was because he doesn't think that the police would believe a black guy lived in a house that nice. Right. So he's afraid <laughs> that they would. Well, that's Chris Rock. He goes... He goes, I'm rich, yeah. and none of you white motherfuckers want to trade places with me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. And then the other one was uh, uh, because, oh, God damn it, I lost my train of thought. What was I talking about five Anne Frank. ago? <laughs> Anne Frank. <laughs> Call yeah. 911. Yeah, he yeah. doesn't want to call 911 because he doesn't want to have an embarrassing moment that's recorded on video or, or audio tape. Like, oh, my God, there's a killer in the house. Oh, I shit Which, myself. That, you know yeah. That's mean? funny. Yeah. Because they always play those on the news. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So with yeah. Frank, it's, you know, obviously we're Francophiles. We are big time, yeah. It's the same thing where it's just like, oh, my God. It's a private her diary. Di- her like, diary's you, out in the open. If you recorded the most fucked up moment of your life, would you want other people to no. experience it? That's why I always talk about the fact that I feel very lucky that I grew up in an era when I did, before the internet, before everyone yeah. had a camera. On the, we would go to bars and just get... Shit house. Like people couldn't walk out of the bar, and yeah. I think people are people are a little gun shy to do that anymore because they know they're going to get filmed and get shamed yeah. online. Not and me so though. I've I've vomited on myself no. in public. With you want to know something? About I, was you. Frank. I was with you when that happens. You want to know something about Anne Frank? Yeah, she's a Bieber fan. Oregon. Well, Bieber was a, f- a fan of hers. Well, no, Bieber wrote in in the Anne Frank House uh, guest book that <laughs> yeah, he, if so she was he alive, said, she if she was alive, she would be a believer, which a is believer. probably true. It is, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Anne Justin Frank, Bieber wrote. Yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, she was correct. a fourteen year old girl, so yeah. I thought for you said sure, Beaver yeah. fan. No Bieber, no, and that's be, why I said Oregon. I was like, because yeah, oh, I was trying be to weird. keep it yeah. somewhat. Yeah. She never made it to Oregon, or else she'd still be alive today. She would be a Bieber. She would be a Bieber fan. Oh, Bieber. She's a fourteen year old. Yeah, that was that was like. A controversy three years ago. It was. You know what I mean? Like, at least then it was like, oh, man, Justin Bieber kind of 
I love that he's, he's fighting depression now. Did you see that? What? Is he Why? really? Is I don't know he's married to a pussy. supermodel. What's he? Yeah. What's, can what's we can we just develop a school for these people to come hang out with us for about a week? No, and we just him. call him a fucking pussy. He's and a pussy. Tell him to shut up and be like, you don't. I'm just, so depressed. Just, just fuck off. Could it be the fact yeah. that you never went to school and had a normal childhood and grew up in a neighborhood with friends and that you've been like on a pedestal since you were fucking eight years and old? You, you have enough money to do whatever you Anything. want. Do whatever you want. For your grandkids. You ne- no one's going to have to work again for the rest of your life. Yeah. By the way, breaking news. Uh, Robert Kraft was freed. So uh, I'm super stoked about that. The, the New, New England Patriots owner. For getting jacked off at that that massage well, he, just, he just has to do what's called an allocution, which is it's you great. Have to, yes, go ahead. You have to admit in court that one, you did what they accused you of, and two, that you would have been found guilty of it had they, like, actually taken you to court. That's that's it. That's it. Oh, and then he can go back to getting fucking hand jobs, bro. That's He's a billionaire. It, Here's my problem with that whole thing: it's like you're a billionaire. You can't just have the chick come over to your hotel. Exactly. What are you doing going to a strip mall in the no, middle of yeah, Florida? No, but still, like, like, it's such a stretch, though. In even that, the headlines. Oh, it was a stretch. The, <laughs> oh, yeah, the headlines, stretched it. though, were you know in a sting of prostitution. He got caught at a rub and tug. A rub and tug. Like, yeah. get the fuck out of I'm, here with that. And you know, he, did you see thing. he was in there? They had the time, and they were really adamant to go. Like, he walked in. 12 minutes later, he walked out. Like, something insanely yeah. quick of, like, he must have walked so, in and been like, me, just do it quick, and I got to go. No, to me, that is a very good advertisement exactly. for the Rub and Tug. And he, yes. went, he went twice within, like, 18 hours or something. <laughs> wow. That was the second time Look, he went. I, I guarantee you, there's not a woman alive right now that could jerk me off at 12 minutes. Are you sure? Happen. Stop. Are you no sure? Way. That is. There's no, no way. No. Do you remember that fucking really shitty Mark Wahlberg Oh, you're movie, definitely not married. The then. big hit. Do you remember <laughs> yeah, that yeah, movie? Yeah, yeah, when you're yeah, married, yeah. your yeah. wife's like, you got 30 seconds. Either you finish or this is over. Yeah. Then it's over, bro. No. I move on. You got to concentrate. I don't, I don't live in the I past thought you had like a stronger that. brain. You I You can't do. control your body? My, I control my, my soul. Can you control like your breathing and your, everything else and you can't control that? No, I'm autistic. I can't do any of that shit. Oh, you can't? No. Oh, okay. Okay. I can do math. Though, you got to really well. learn to go uh, full sting and go t- tantric and get your body. Into I should it. really look into that. Full yeah, sting. Yeah. Full I'm two also, hour orgasms. I'm also going to change my name to a fucking mononym. That's a <laughs> present participle <laughs> or present do. perfect verb. Yeah, you yeah. should. You How should. About that? Uh, Jamie, this is the part in the show we get to the drinking bro of the week. It's somebody who's inspired you or helped you on the come up. Who would you like to give the drinking bro of the week to? I'm going to give it to Jared. Really? Oh, damn. Yeah. Jared Cap- He inspires me. Why? Because, and here's, I'll tell you about this. Like, this I is, don't want to become Jared. No, so I've been no writing, one does. I've no been writing does. a book. Okay. And it, my whole theory on life is I want to be an unmotivational speaker. I think people are, it's like, what are you trying to get accomplished? Because if you think about it, none of us are going to be remembered in three generations. So why the fuck are people working so hard? Like Zuckerberg, you won, cash out. But they don't <laughs> think that way. Right. And so for me, as, as you age... The trick is to not uh, to to stay current. And so when I talk to Jer- uh, Jared, he always gives me, you know, he kind of keeps me up to speed. So I, I feel like I'm learning and I'm inspired by what you guys are doing, and not to be total kiss asses, but I do. I think it's amazing what you guys are doing because I came up through the system in a totally different style, where I had to get up on stage and bust my chops, and now you guys have figured out the digital world to a degree where you should be writing a book teaching people well, actually- what you're doing. Uh, perfect segue. That book comes out in July. <laughs> there you it's go. called Matt Best Freedom On. Uh, <laughs> Matt and I wrote it, and it, it'll be out for, through Penguin. It should. I mean, honestly, through and when Penguin. I, when and I it, met these It tells these the story dudes. of Black Rifle Coffee. Yep. It tells the story of Jared Taylor, how he put all of this together, yep. how he brought all of all of us together, really. Uh, not only for the podcast, but but for the movie and the books and all of this stuff. So, actually, that's a real thing. That book is coming out. Well, this it summer. should be. I mean, it, it, it is a way. Like, dude, I know it, you, you probably try to downplay it, but there is kind of a, a Steve Jobs aspect to what you fuckers are doing. Because I can't you're, wait you're, until we all get cancer. You're still creating. That's what I'm waiting for. To what? Till we all get cancer like Steve Jobs. Oh, well. Yeah. That's what I've been working oh, you for. You really can't control your body. Dan wants no. to die. <laughs> Here's the you? thing. Dan really, <laughs> really wants to die. Look, there's a lot of things. Why can't too. you find happiness? Oh. There's, there's wow. Are you happy? <laughs> yeah. He, he oh, can, yeah. and, and a girl that might stab him in the middle of the night. That's the is. only way like that he can get yeah. through it. Or killing hundreds of people. Which he's already done, and he can't go back and do. Either so. one. I hooked yeah. up with a girl in Texas one time, and I was on—I um, was in the Navy at the time, and we were mm-hmm. staying in some base, and we all went to a strip club, and you know, I don't, 
I don't mess with the strippers, but the waitresses. Oh yeah, they're free game. If you can get a waitress at a strip club, like that's that's an achievement because they're not even getting naked. They're the they're the not naked ones. And so we took her back to the. Uh, I was staying on base at the. Uh, you said we took her back. We took her. We as a plural. We took a group. group. There was a group of us. And uh, we all okay, went back. Okay, because that and sounds took one, very rapey. It wasn't what you just. Said. You know, yeah, it did sound. That's not. It's not. No, sure, sure. If anything, sure. it was going to turn the turn because I'm an Irish Catholic guy, dude. I'm I'm covered in red fur. I don't even like the lights on. I, it's <laughs> I'd like to be hidden in the dark. Yeah, of course. If the girl wants the lights on, she has to wear a miner's helmet that just illuminates me alone. So she, uh, I brought her back, and then we kind of end up together and we're in a room, and then my buddy was going to become a SEAL, and she was like, he'd been talking about his fucking knife collection all night, some lunatic. And she goes, hey, go get one of your buddy's knives, and I'll show you some stuff with it. I'd met her two hours earlier. I was like, I'm not going to do that. That's not fucking <laughs> happening. I'm not putting a knife in your hand. And she no. told me the whole story from Shogun. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Where they the Fuck beauty that. you feel the the the, the sharp blade, blade yeah. against your skin yeah. and it's supposed to be a turn on. Do no. you like shit like that? No, I don't. No. <laughs> you really? don't. No. I'm actually it sounds like something you that. would be like. It, yeah, same here. No, yeah. It's, for me it's about the personality. It's you not, just want to know she will kill you at some point. She will kill you, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. there has to be some <laughs> impending death involved or I'm not interested in whatever it is. Gotcha. Gotcha. That, that makes sense. Yeah. You know, I, and, and I get all that. I get all that. I get it. But you've got to conquer it. N- why? I'm living. I love my life. Okay. It's fucking is fucking that, funny, dude. Well, what real? happens when you when you push the envelope just enough? Where you does you end up? You don't make. No, it. we already oh. have a plan. For yeah. That. Well, that's when I'm gonna blow. The Viking brain. funeral. <laughs> that's no. what I want. No, we're doing it even better. So no. wait, 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 wait. But Boat I, full I, of wood. I, tell the audience because yeah, how you this, told me this story. How does this today? story end? This was the best story I've ever heard of how don't you want to end sad, your life. Man. I don't want to have no. It's not sad. Tell them how you want to end your life. It's the greatest. We're gonna have a surprise birthday party for me. I'll be involved. I mean, yeah, I'll probably throw the party, yeah. and I'll invite all you guys. I'm in. Yeah. So I'm going to show up, and everyone's going to yell surprise, and I'm like, good, you're all here, and I'm going to pull out a gun and blow my brains out in front of everyone I know. That's such a... <laughs> <laughs> why, would you, why would you do it at the end of the fucking party? Why would you wreck the party? I've been... No, that's how you start the party. No, that's how you start the party. Because party, that's party. Oh, shit. No, uh, you fucking... the party. No. Where it's just I've like, been hey. party. You party with your friends, and no. at the very end, you go, no. hey, everyone... Wrap it up. You got to go. Boom. And then you take it out. <laughs> it's on the fucking exit. Maybe. What are you, I'm crazy? The the, I, was trying the to get him, I was trying to get him to just save it. Once he decided it was time, save it for just a minute inconvenience where we're in public or something where, you know, maybe someone, we're trying to rent a car and they're really fucking it up. And he's, oh, God. Dick. I actually had a really good idea just now. What if I pull into a gas station? I forget my gas tank's on the other side of the car. And I get out and look at him like, fuck, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they, you're just in a, you're in a supermarket and the guy goes paper or plastic the guy goes fucking choices boom yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. or you say like paper something. fuck I meant plastic ah, plastic boom. god damn it yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I just want to be second in line and go he's over dramatic sometimes don't worry he's overreacting right now yeah hey, can, I, uh. can I get cheese on that yeah but it's 50 cents extra what the fuck boom, boom. <laughs> uh, fuck you dude you gotta pick fuck something you. good cause you only get one shot you get one shot literally one shot Yep. At it. Hey, and it's Mom's like Lee good. Harvey Oswald said, y- you, you, you miss a little... 100% of the shots you don't take. I can you do it Michael cleaner? Scott. Was it? Is there a better way to do it than just a fucking gun scene oh, no, below it's gonna, you? It'll probably be a water impulse charge. Are you familiar with that? <laughs> uh, don't they kill cows that way where it's like a the poof thing? Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's a similar concept. So yeah. water impulse charge is like a bag of water, basically, yeah. then some kind of like concave metal yeah. and then an explosive in, in between those two things and it basically blasts all the energy through the water and it turns sure. the water and energy so I, I want to be walking down the street one day have your head explode yeah and just no 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 no. my head <laughs> like scanners my head just goes and my body scanners, keeps on wow, walking that's a <laughs> no, no, body keeps walking head, head well, let's all let's call come up with better ways no, for you to die this is this is for like or the, let's t- not. the no. today show on NBC that's not yeah. <laughs> the, oh, the Today Show's a great yeah, one. The Today he wants show. to walk up to the glass on the Today Show. <laughs> right when Roker's <laughs> reading like, oh, hey, happy 100th birthday <laughs> to Alma Wacker Patterson. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> His fucking face explodes against the glass in the background. Savannah's all fucked up. Like, oh, God, why? Like, that well, would be a money Actually, um, actually that does sound pretty cool. There yeah. it is. Here's the way you should do it, though. How there about if you just is. had a big tub of liquid nitrogen, 
And then yeah. at the end yourself. of the party, you get in, you freeze yourself, and then Jerry comes up with an aluminum bat and just shatters you like T like the T one thousand. Takes a piece. Peace. Ah. Of and, we, and they put it in their drink. It's nice. And we use you as the ice for the. If that's the case, you do have to go at the beginning of the party because we're going to need the ice. I've got some of George Washington's wooden teeth that I super glue you, in over mine. That you know, I just like to really? walk around with. Speaking that. of yeah. T one thousand, we're going to be hanging out with Rod, Robert Patrick later this week. Is he coming? Yeah. Yes. He's the best yeah. man. Yeah. yeah. That's what everybody that says. Cool everybody says he's the best interview on the planet. You were one of our favorite interviews on yes. the planet. Yes, you're coming back this week. I'll Thank you so much for That's being here. That's it. I'm here. done. Yes, Jamie. Right. Where can people find you on social media? Uh, Jared, where can people find me? You're the, you're teaching me. Yeah, Jamie. Could just your name? Jamie, Jamie Kaler. Kaler. I love when people. You can Google me, Jamie Kaler. But for guys out there who are parents. I've posted some stuff in the uh, Drinking Drink Bros, Bros groups. Dads. Drinking Bros He's Dads. He's very active in. The Poo Poo uh, The Poo Poo Brothers. Professional. The Poo Poo yep. Professionals. Uh, so come find me at the Dadlands. Yeah. Uh, awesome. On the there. Dadlands. But come, yeah, and watch Tacoma FD with Lemmy, our buddy, and, uh, yeah. and come find uh, me. And say hi. We will announce when you launch your new show. I appreciate it. Thanks. Yes. yes. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. No, hey, we appreciate you coming on I the love show. It. You kidding? Thank you. Jamie Kaler, ladies and gentlemen, Yee! for for Jared Taylor. Boom. D'Anthony, D'Anthony, boom on the Today Show Holloway. Uh, I am Ross Patterson. Good night, everyone. <laughs>